Hello traders, FS Collector here. Today is Thursday, April 4th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Euro US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the Euro dollar monthly, I'm still very bullish on the monthly, which I have been for a very long time. I still think it is going to continue to trend up. I still think eventually it is going to go up and take out these highs and eventually end up looking something like that. So let's take a look at it on the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I still think this first push up is a 1. I still think we have an expanding flat in the middle right here. Higher high wave B, lower low wave C. Definitely looks like an expanding flat. If that is the end of a wave 2, then that makes this a wave 3, like a 1 of 3. This is probably an ABC 2 of 3, and maybe, just maybe, we're already starting this wave 3 of 3, 4, and wave 5, just like I showed on the monthly time frame. Taking it down to the daily time frame, we had a very, very impulsive move up yesterday, and I didn't really expect this move up. I actually did expect it to go down a little further, but we can't argue with the market. When the market shows us something, we have to pay attention. To me, this definitely looks like a downtrend wave A. This looks like one, two, three waves up wave B. This looks like a downtrend wave C. Did miss the Fibonacci a little bit. Did not take out the lower wave A, which wave Cs do not have to take out the lower wave A always. It looks to me like this is a one looks like to me like this is a two and this may possibly be the very very early stages of a big big wave three so let's take it right down to the four hour time frame four hour time frame very 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 impulsive up as you can see it looks like a one two three so i would expect probably to see at least a wave four and a wave five and before we even did see a significant pullback in the way that this thing is trending we are at a previous support level so maybe it will make a pullback right here i hope it does because if it does make a pullback that should be a great opportunity to go long hopefully it's going to end up being a one a two and then going up for a big old wave Wave three. So taking it down to the one hour time frame, I don't even think that this section of trend right here is over yet. I think this is very clearly a one, a two, and a wave three. We don't even have any proof that the wave three is over. It could easily just keep on drifting up. Hopefully what happens is over the next day or so, it makes a wave four and a wave five. We have to remember that we do have non-farm payroll news tomorrow, which is another very big news event. Kind of seems to me like maybe non-farm payroll will actually cause this to go down, but the move down is actually going to be a Kretzen, like a wave two. This whole uptrend would be like a wave one, and then eventually it would go up for a big old wave three. So I would definitely be looking for longs right now. Like I said, there's not even any proof that the wave three is over, so you definitely want to keep on looking for longs on these sort of time frames. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel linked over here on the left, and don't forget to check out my new membership program at my website, fxpepcollector.com. As always, thank you and happy trading.